Hello everyone, I'm Tofu and today, as you've probably noticed from the thumbnail, we'll be designing a couple of villager homes on the island of Tanglewood. We're going to be doing Wendy's home and of course Lucky's home here. So, no beating around the bush, let's jump into it. So, I'm very much kind of torn as to what I wanted to do here. Because Lucky's been on the island for so long, like way longer than I ever anticipated to be honest and I just feel like it's only fair that I do his house because of that reason um, I've always wanted to do Wendy because I've always wanted Wendy but yeah it, it just felt a bit weird to try and move Lucky on without at least giving him some kind of parting gift however I'm also torn as to whether I should even try and move him on so uh yeah, I'm going to be leaving that to you guys, to be honest. I'm going to do a poll for when this video goes up as to whether I try and move Lucky out and then look for Rudy with like one last final chance to move Rudy onto the island. Or if I just give up, as far as that's concerned, and uh, move on to a new island, honestly. Because this could be potentially the final act of uh, Tanglewood, and so everything is literally done. Uh, but anyway, um, as far as Lucky's design, I wasn't really sure what to go with. And whilst uh, a lot of people have this idea that he is kind of undead, with the whole uh, mummy look and glowing eye, he's he's not really that. He's just a uh, unlucky boy. He's uh, very accident prone. But to be honest, I'm going to be going with the whole uh, spooky motif. Just even though I really do uh, push that he's he's not undead or anything like that but yeah um, this is kind of uh, just just my idea for the moment so I'm, I am going to make it a bit spooky he is kind of um, on his own as far as the island is concerned he's very much on the on the right hand side and everyone else villager wise is uh, left or upper left on my island but I'm thinking very kind of spooky, very mossy feel at the moment. I've never used this, uh, the flooring, and I've only just noticed that it's uh, it's got that kind of swampy, misty feeling. I like it. It's cool. The, uh, the fact that they brought in the animated um, flooring and wallpapers is just a nice little touch every now and again. Sometimes you come across something you didn't actually notice. I want to cover up a lot of this um, mystical, like, cavern-esque wallpaper that I've used as the accent, and I really do like these mossy walls. But I'm going to try and find uh, the mossy rugs, and put a couple down and make it almost look like a tiered kind of flooring. There we go. So I put it on the right-hand side here, make another one, just flip it around so they're not quite matching. So you've almost got this mossy, grassy kind of feel on the uh, right-hand side. You've then got these broken stone paving on the left, and then just like a dirt floor even further left to that. Okay, as far as furniture, like I said, I am going with a kind of creepy and spooky motif. So I'm going to try and find the um, decayed tree, I believe that's what it's called. So bear with me as far as uh, skipping past this menu. Okay, that took a lot longer to find than I would like to admit. For some reason, I was looking in the um, I was looking in the plant section of the furniture, and I just went straight past it, which is really weird. But there you go, I found it eventually. Uh, with that being the case, anyway, we've got the decayed tree. I would like a green leaf pile just to add to the whole green aesthetic on the right hand side makes it look like the tree was alive at some point and the leaves have then fallen off uh, as far as the whole again spooky feel I'm going to be bringing back one of the items he did have in his home so he had a uh, western style stone or gravestone essentially again going on the green um, aesthetic on the right hand side I'm going to make it the mossy variant and just put it in this right hand corner I'm going to add a couple of tiki torches just around the gravestone and I'm also going to put another one just here. Cool. 
So to make it a little bit more homely, I am going to add a kitchen unit. So again, probably going to use the mossy variant. Um, I'm going to just jump into this and go into the kitchen. That's not kitchen, that's appliances. Okay, there we go. I love this. Um, this kitchen unit is absolutely fantastic. I love it. I love the fact that it comes in really nice variants of color as well. And the fact it's got this mossy damaged version. It's just a really nice touch as well. It really helps with these kind of builds. Just to add a little bit of height, I am going to add um, some gel bars. Uh, I guess it would be in the screen, but there we go. Fantastic. I'm going to use the damaged rusty version and I'm just going to place it behind. Cool, so it doesn't quite cover up the entirety of the wall, but it covers up the majority. So it's almost a nice um, splashback, if you will. <laughs> a bit weird of a splashback because obviously it's got the... Uh, the giant holes in between the bars, but that's fine. I'm going to add a uh, stone seats. Maybe one of the ruined seats. That's not the seat section. There we go. Is it ruined stool? I'm not quite sure what it's called. Ruined seat. Okay. That was close. Again, going with the aesthetic. We're going with the mossy version. Cool. I'm liking that so far. Uh, he should definitely have something a little bit spooky on this um, kitchenware, so I'm going to go with probably the glowing moss jar. Uh, there it is. To be honest, I think just the the straight up green is probably the best variant of that, especially with the whole green um, colour scheme I seem to be going with. Again, if I really want to make this homely, um, I should have some kind of seating or bed, so... The fact that this stool is here works as a seat, obviously. Bed, I'm not really sure. Hmm. Let's just have a quick look through and see if there's anything that catches my eye. Because all of these don't seem to fit very nicely. I could just throw a sleeping bag or maybe even the log garden chair, but that feels a little bit just, I don't know, strange and unfair. Would the hay bed work? Because that could obviously come in a green, doesn't it? Maybe even a pale green? Sure. Why not? I kind of like that. I'm just going to grab another one of these and use it almost as a... Uh, like a sideboard. As if like a you know bedside cabinet type thing, but it is just a stone. Almost gives the, um, the feeling that Lucky's just grabbed a few items from outside and has just dragged it in to kind of complete his, uh, his home. Um, I want to then go miscellaneous. I think I'm going to turn down the lighting ever so slightly and have it almost like a dark, yeah, very dark ambience, but I'm going to have a few bits of glowing items, I guess, with the tiki torches. I'm going to have um, a couple of single candles, maybe even the wall-mounted candles, so I'm just going to try and find the candle now, so bear with me. There it is. I came across that a lot quicker than I thought it would. I'm going to go with the copper. I'm not sure if I'm going to add any music to this home. I might add some um, just sound effects and various ambience, but I haven't really looked through that. So I think there was a, a cave or like cavern, but that would work quite nicely. Again, just to give the feeling that he's dragged items from outside in. I'm going to use a couple of log stakes to almost separate the uh, quote-unquote bedroom away from the kitchen and living area. I'm quite liking this uh, spooky aesthetic so far. It's very lucky if you're going for the whole um, him being undead and being a spooky boy. Mm, should I put something on this stool? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put a just a book and see if I like that for the majority of the build. If I don't, I'll get rid of it later on. What type of book, though? That's the question. Well, definitely encyclopedia, so... He's reading up on butterflies. Maybe this could be like a weird potion thing that he's going on. Got going on, even. So he's got the glowing moss. He's got whatever that suspicious coffee-coloured stew is. And then he's reading up on butterflies, so like ingredients for his mystery stew. Sure. We'll keep that, and if I uh, if I don't like it, I'll get rid of it. If uh, obviously I do, 
you'll notice it'll stay there. Okay, so as far as uh, wall mounted items, I think, like I mentioned, we're gonna have the wall mounted candles. So I said copper, didn't I? So I will go with a couple of copper. I'm not gonna put one there though. Kinda go, is that slap bang in the middle? It is, yeah. So there, gonna go above the door and one on the opposite side as well. I believe that was centre. Because um, I can't help myself. Obviously I've added the decayed tree, but I must add some other type of plant. Um, I've already gone past it in the menu. I think the pitcher plant makes a, the most sense in this uh, wall, this setting as well, to be honest. Something on this wall, maybe maybe a wreath of some kind, just above the grave. The dark lily wreath, or the mushroom wreath, I think makes the most sense. I guess I'll go up with the dark lily leaf to start with. Just above the grave. Let's just try the mushroom wreath and see what we think. I kind of like the mushroom wreath, it gives the impression that it was flowers at some point, it's been left there so long that it's, uh... <coughs> excuse me start growing all this uh, fungus and the mushrooms. It's a really nice um, item anyway. It's, I really appreciate the fact they brought it in with all the items, the mushroom items during the fall. Anything else? I think, to be honest, as far as the walls, I like it quite empty, apart from these candles. So I'm gonna move on to the ceiling. I definitely think we should have some kind of candle chandelier in the middle. Again, I will go with a copper if they have the variant. If they have rust, that's even better. Adds that spooky feeling. The candles are lit, aren't they? They are indeed fantastic. I think I should add some vines and things, so... And maybe three, something like that. I'll put one roughly here. Now, come on, I want it that way. I'm going to put one in front of the iron bars. Maybe I'll turn it into a kind of a brown colour so it makes it look like the vines are dying. As far as this one, um, probably put it just above the tree but make it a dark. There we go. Cool. Maybe some of the glowing moss vines as well. Hanging glowing moss even. I always get the names wrong with the um, moss furniture. I love the items so much, they're just so good. We'll have one grey, and another one I'll probably just make green. Uh, we'll have the green one kind of there, the grey one above the grave, or uh, western style stone, sorry. I'm liking this. Almost done, I think just a little touch of uh, on the wall. I believe there is a uh, spider web or cobweb item somewhere. There it is. Let's just put a couple of those somewhere on the wall. So maybe in the corner so it's slightly obscured by that vine. And we'll add another one just over here, kind of close to the uh, the stone. Almost like it's used the, um, the mushroom uh, hanging reef. Has like a little bit of a home and it's then moved onto the wall. Okay, fabulous. I'm liking this. Hopefully you guys are as well. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to uh, turn the lighting down. Maybe I should give it a different colour. Turquoise? And then we'll just turn that down. Yeah, I like that. It's not too dark. But then obviously you've got all the, uh, the candles giving that nice ambience, that nice bit of glow. Let's actually check the soundscapes. What's that? Oh, it is a cavern. Let's let's listen to that. You know what? That that sounds absolutely perfect. Mm, the wind is kind of a bit spooky as well because it makes it seem like there's a hole somewhere and the wind's blowing through this uh, mysterious cavern. Rumbling is kind of uh, concerning and spooky, but no, I, I think I'm going to go with the cave. Okay, let's just go in here and light these tiki torches 
And to be honest, guys, I think that's that as far as Lucky's home. So I'm going to talk to Nook and then move on to the exterior. I really don't remember what the exterior is like for Lucky's home. I'm, I'm fairly sure it's quite nice. But uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's just mostly a plain black and grey. Because I do want it to kind of feel like it is part of the, the jungle world outside. So I guess I'm going to go with mostly grey, black, but um, brown panelling. The black door is absolutely fine, to be honest, and then uh, maybe we'll go with the dark lily reef on the outside. So we've got the mushroom reef on the inside above the western stone. We'll go with that. A little bit foreboding with the uh, the dark lilies. So with that, we are all done. Hopefully Nook approves of my uh, spooky lucky design. He loves it. Okay, and now we're going to move on to our newest addition to the island and uh, design Wendy's home. Oh, what a cute girl. I'm glad I scanned her in. Look at her, she's adorable. So this is actually the first time I've been inside Wendy's home and I'm not sure I think it suits her. Like, the colour scheme is very nice and obviously goes with her clothing, but it's very snowy isn't it obviously the snowflake wallpaper the rug there's a lot of white and blue so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get rid of all of this because like I said it doesn't really suit in my opinion cool anything on the walls just a quick double check there's a radiator so I wouldn't have been surprised if I'd actually missed that honestly so Wendy's home is where Freya used to be, which is on the beach and kind of close to um, the Able Sisters. So I've got a slight idea. I'm going to almost make it a beachy cavern and I'm going to have the majority of the walls be a quite a wood tone. So no surprise there. I love my wood tones and I think I was going to go with the modern uh, wood wall here. But then when it comes to the wall here in front of the door I'm going to turn it into the beach setting so wherever I when I find it bear with me I've gone past it there we go cool so I almost want the feeling that, like when you actually come out of the home you immediately look out onto the beach and the ocean so I want to give that illusion that her home is almost open to the elements you can look over the beach at any time you then walk through the door and to be honest, that's the same view that you're going to get. Um, before I move on to any major furniture, I am just going to add some glow in the dark stickers and do something very similar to what I did with Deirdre's home a little while ago. And I'm going to change it to a custom design and use this plank design, make it look like a fence. So it's not entirely open. There is a bit of a fence to the beach but yeah, you still get the view, you still get the beachy feel, and obviously the open sky, the ocean. Cool. Now, having sand as a flooring would be pretty problematic in my opinion, so I'm going to go into the rugs and use some of the decking style rugs that they have. Um, I'm not great with uh, navigating menus, but there we go, we'll find it eventually. Hmm, the brown wooden or the natural wooden? Oh. Let's get one of each. Let's just see what we think. I prefer the left one because of the colour, but at the same time, the right one just means that there's it's not all the same colour, so I'm going to actually use the right one. I'm going to do that. So there is a little bit of sand, just uh, giving that illusion again that she's walking out onto the beach and that her home is kind of open. I'm going to section it off just with a bit of walling here, so probably not a partition because it's going to feel like it's very closed off. But if I add a couple of pillars, I'll go with the natural wood because I think that makes the most sense. There, there, and I guess there. And then if I use the tall wooden island. Cool. So we're going to have our main living area will be this decked area. And then you've got this little bit on the beach. Again, if uh, she wants to feel like she's part of the world when she's actually in our home, 
and she can just enjoy the sand and the warm weather. Uh, I guess as far as furniture, I'm going to just set off a few bits and bobs on the sand here. So, unsurprisingly, I must put a plant. It's it's just a tofu law. I must do that. I think a cocoa tree probably makes the most sense. Um, I could add a cactus, but it feels, I don't know, a little bit out of, the, uh, out of place. Because like I said, it is meant to be a beach and not just a desert feeling. I will definitely be adding music into this build, by the way, so it's not going to be dead quiet. Uh, lucky is I didn't want to add music because I thought the whole um, sound effect ambience, especially with the cave, works really nicely and uh, gives that spooky feeling. I'm just going to try and find a sand castle, so bear with me. Cool, so doesn't really make sense as far as being inside of a home but again I want that feeling of this being actually part of the beach and so she's she's made a little sand castle she's she's a good girl she likes to play every now and again maybe we'll throw a beach towel of some description so I'm just going to jump up to the bed section change the color I think there's going to be a lot of wood tones naturally again much like the plants, it's uh, something that I generally do. I, I love my wood tones in my builds. But I think there should be uh, various splashes of blue every now and again, so... Ooh, I kind of like that one. Yeah, let's go for it. And we'll put the beach towel just in this corner here. Nice. So as far as Wendy is concerned, obviously she is peppy. And... Uh, Generally a lot of people or a lot of people associate Peppy with wanting to be a pop star, wanting to be a singer, a bit of a diva. But in my last um villager home build, I kind of made it so that Quinn wanted to be a singer, like almost a punk rock uh, singer, songwriter. So with the fact that I've got her in Freya's old house and really close to the Able sisters, I think I'm gonna make her a bit of a fashion designer. Well certainly a fashion designer wannabe. So I'm going to have a lot of uh, clothing items and uh, give the illusion, illusion <coughs> I can't speak today, give the illusion that she's designing her own clothing. There we go, the mid-sized clothing rack I think works nicely. I'm going to go with the dark wood tones because uh, that seems to be the overall theme of this home build. Obviously cute clothing, she's a cute girl. And I might just put the corner one in there as well. Uh, I guess the dark would make sense. Maybe the neutral tone, just so it's a little bit different from this one. I'll spin that around. I think I'm going to add a little table here and then add some various um, project items, I guess. So the there's a sewing kit, I believe. I think there's a, uh, a sewing machine, but you... I guess we'll see, because I, I don't remember too well as far as that's concerned. Um, which table would be best? Obviously, I want a just a dark wood table. Does this come in a really dark wood? Oh, it does. Yeah, perfect. Cool. We'll add that to the side here. Uh, just whilst it's on my mind, let's go with the sewing projects. So, there's one. I guess, like I said, we're going to go with various splashes of blue. So, we'll add that there. Uh, there's literally a sewing machine right next to it, so I did remember something. That's uh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, cool. I am going to get rid of the windows, just because I think I'm going to add a couple of uh, items just behind that eventually. But for now, I'm going to go into the seats, and I'm going to add what I believe is the most cabana-esque... Um, <laughs> seating so rattan stool i absolutely love the rattan furniture like as far as uh, furniture sets it's probably one of my favorites and i've used it in so many of my uh, my home builds mostly my own to be honest but yeah I, I love these items okay as far as this corner i think this should definitely be a area where she actually it feels like she lives in it and it's not just a workshop so I'm going to add a sofa of some description, probably just a double sofa and turn that into the blue colour. 
Nice, I like that. We'll move it over there. I'm going to have a, uh, a low table, so that can be where her various knickknacks are on. Maybe the Nordic low, low board. Yeah, perfect. Oh, should I add a cloth effect? Let's see what the blue one's like. Yeah, okay. Yeah, why not? I'm going to then add um, a music player of some description. So I think she had the cute um, CD player. So I might just use that again. Put it in blue. And maybe a switch. She likes to relax after designing all these clothing items and uh, yeah, really working hard. She likes to play hard. She likes to play, obviously, Animal Crossing. Who wouldn't? I'm actually going to run over and turn that music on just so it's not completely uh, silent all the time. I'm not sure what her song was. Was it Space? Not sure it necessarily suits Wendy being peppy, but that was her original song that she had, so sure, why not? Uh, I think I should put something just here. So maybe a lamp? Maybe the Festivale lamp. That would look kind of cool because it comes in a blue variant as well, doesn't it? Is it not in the lamp section? Is it in a completely different section? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll jump cut to when I find it. Oh, okay. The reason I'm really struggling is because I wasn't looking in the miscellaneous. Because you would expect it to be with the lamps, just like the, all the uh, standing lights in the furniture section, not the miscellaneous section, but there you go. Guess I'm just a fool. Comes in this really nice blue variant. Oh. That wasn't what I meant to do, but luckily, obviously, it's, uh, it's still the same pattern, so. Okay, nice. I need something to fill this space, I think, so I'm going to avoid putting a plant. I might put a mirror, actually, if she, obviously she's a fashion designer. She's going to want to uh, test out her clothing. She's going to want to look, make sure that she looks good, that the, uh, yeah, her models would look good, so she's going to have a mirror. She's got that big blue glow because of the lamp, I guess. So maybe I'll turn that off when I've uh, finished the design, mostly. But as far as furniture, I think the majority of that is done. I need to add a few little knickknacks onto these uh, islands. Maybe something on top of here. So let's go into the miscellaneous section. Maybe this is where I can add uh, another plant. I can't help myself, guys. I, I need some kind of Plant Anonymous <laughs> help. As this is the relaxation corner, maybe I should add a um, a drink item. So let's let's have a look and see what we think. Hmm, do we think she's a iced cafe latte kind of girl? I mean, not gonna lie, that's probably one of the things I would order if I went to a uh, coffee shop. So yeah, let's go with it. Nice. Um, as far as items on here, sh I guess we'll work. Uh, keep going on with the clothing design aesthetic so maybe we should add a couple of boxes and things like that oh office materials let's let's have a look and see the variants here craft tape oh fabric tape that makes most sense doesn't it so put that on top of there and um, some shoe boxes i kind of like the dark variant maybe i'll add just another set down here but i'll change the color up oh the pastel colors are cute sure let's go with that Maybe I can add another um, clothing item just on top of that or something like that. Makes it look like she's um, designed a load of clothing and then using these uh, boxes to ship them out to various customers across the globe. I would like just a plain box though just to go in that uh, top right corner. Probably just the labelled variant because obviously a lot of uh, the boxes have fruit designs. This kind of makes it look like she this is uh, an order of maybe various materials like yarn and uh, sewing equipment things like that so that's just her spare stuff and let's find these uh, items of clothing that I mentioned earlier so the stack of clothing uh, probably just the light coloured if it's going on top of the pastel box so I guess we should move on to the um, wall hanging items so I'm going to put a TV in this uh, left hand corner I was already on the wall, <laughs> wall mounted items, so sorry about that. And naturally we're going to add the blue variant because there's uh, various splashes of blue. 
Get a lot higher than that though. Uh, as we're on the beach setting, this is kind of an open cabana. I guess I should have some kind of fan or air conditioning unit. Probably not the ventilation fan. Let's go with the wall fan. That comes in a nice blue. Let's. I really like this item. I just wish that you could stop it from rotating. Because if you hit it, it obviously just turns off. But I kind of want it almost at that angle. Let's try the um, air conditioner and just see what we think. And that comes in a nice blue. Very pastely. Oh, kind of rustles the uh, the various plants and things and the little flag on the uh, the sandcastle. Yeah, I like that. Because I'm sure the fan, obviously, because it rotates, it would blow the clothing. But I like just a little bit of movement in this corner here. Even though it's kind of a, uh, a useless corner as far as the actual home design goes, but a little bit of movement just makes it a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. Hopefully you agree. Right, as far as the right-hand wall, that's not the wall I meant. There we go, that's the one. I'm going to add a few items of clothing, like her finished articles. So, jump cut to when I found some appropriate bits of uh, clothing. I do like it. It's pretty cute. Gonna go with the green variant instead of the blue, just to add a little splash of colour that isn't just blue constantly. And I think we should go with a top. Maybe the Paradise, the DLC shirt you get as a, a uniform. That might look kind of cool. And then it would be a uh, splash of red, just break up the uh, the blue and the pastely green, kind of pastely blue colours. I actually forgot what it was called. So it's the Paradise Planning Aloha top. Yeah, so there are two finished articles that she's just finished designing. Maybe she's got a uh, contract with the Happy Home Paradise uh, people. So Lottie, um, Wardle, and is it Nico? I forgot his name. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I believe it's Nico. Uh, right, and we're also going to add a, uh, what is it called? Formal paper. This makes it look like she's... Um, got some degrees, some qualifications. She's uh, gone to college for clothing design. And uh, yeah, she displays it proudly. There's an empty space here, so you guessed it. I'm going to add a plant. And my good old favourite coconut planter. I love that for any type of tropical home build. I use it loads. Just the plants in general. I love them. Like I said, I've got a problem. <laughs> I need help when it comes to uh, the plants. Okay, um, I'm going to leave this mostly mostly blank, to be honest. But I think just a small bit. Maybe the mum's art or the fancy frame. I'm going to put both up and see what I prefer. I think the fancy frame... Naturally looks really fancy, but I actually like the splash of colour and the fact that it's got almost a homemade feel. Like, it's almost like Wendy's painted that in her off time. So she's still being creative, but she's uh, pursuing a hobby instead of making the clothes. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. So, to be honest, I think I'm mostly done. I just need a few uh, touches as far as the ceiling is concerned. So, another one of my favourite items is the drapery. I'm going to use the blue, because of course I am. Light blue or dark blue? Probably the navy blue. And I'm going to put it over here, just so it's hiding some of the boxes. It adds a little splash of colour against the black and then the uh, cardboard coloured box. Almost like she's trying to hide the fact that they're her supplies. Um, I should add some actual lighting. So probably the wood shade lamp. I think that makes most sense for a cabana-esque uh, home. Going to put that just above where she would work. And then one above where she would obviously uh, sit down and rest. And then another thing I can't help myself. If there's an open space, I'm going to add a bird. Yeah, the bird mobile. Cool. And I'm going to go with one of my favourite variants. The white one that looks like a seagull. It's just adorable. What can I say? We're going to have it hanging over the beach section. So guys, 
I believe that's it. So what do you think of uh, Wendy and her clothing design office slash beach cabana, I guess? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk to Nook and uh, plan out the exterior. Oh, and maybe give him a little smoochy smooch. Mwah. Okay, so it's very Wendy-esque, obviously, with the uh, yellow and blue. Okay, you know what? As it's on the beach, I'm going to go with the shell reef. Maybe that's something she does in her spare time as well to relax instead of painting as she maybe walks up on the beach, collects shells, and uh, even uses that as a uh, creative tool for her hobbies. So yeah, I'm going to go with the shell reef. Yeah, I think that's it. And with that, I am done with Wendy's home. So I'm just going to confirm that with Nook. And uh, jobs are good in. So there we have it guys, there's my home design for both Lucky and Wendy on the island of Tanglewood. Potentially my last action as far as the actual island is concerned. Obviously I'm going to leave that up to you, as I mentioned there will be a poll, so do we then kick Lucky out and try one last attempt to move Rudy into the island, or do we bite the bullet and just say that Rudy's not coming onto this island and maybe search for him on a new island? Let me know in the poll. As for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit like and consider subscribing if you haven't done already. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Have a good one. And see you next time. Bye guys.